facing Frank Thomas. Bottom of the first was scoreless. And Clement gets him looking. Bottom of the second, here's Jose Valentin. And Clement strikes him out on the slot. Now Thomas in the seventh. Same deal. Thomas goes 0 for 3. K3 time. Valentin striking out, swinging on that slider again. Clement had 12 strikeouts, tying his career high. Mark Bellhorn, the blast off Burley, two-run shot, Bellhorn's ninth. Cubs had an 8-0 lead. White Sox had him just where they wanted. Not this time. Top nine, Bellhorn trying the left side on for size. Get out of town. Bellhorn second of the game, 10th of the year, is the first Cub in 38 years to home up from both sides of the plate in one game. Ellis Burton, the last guy to do it in 1964. The Cubs snap a five-game losing streak do so against Burley, who matched a season worst with eight earned runs allowed. Let's go to Minnesota. The Twins and Brewers, bottom eight, tied at two, bases loaded. Luis Vizcaino walks Dustin Moore on a 3-2 pitch, forcing in the go-ahead run, 3-2 Twins. Flashback to Friday's game, Florida and Tampa Bay. Travis Phelps loses the pitch on his delivery, ruled a walk. Back to the Brewers, Twins. Next batter, Vizcaino faces... Brian Buchanan, and it's ruled a balk. And uh, pitching coach Dave Stewart can't believe it. Christian Guzman comes play word, top nine. Eddie Gordado, one on, two outs. Ryan Thompson doubles off the right field ball. One run will score. Thompson dives back into second and just avoids being tagged out. Next batter, Alex Ochoa, and the whiff. Eddie Gordado has 24 saves. Twins win, 4-3. Eric Milton allowed just two earned in eight innings, matching a season high with eight Ks. Two, three, and four hitters for the Brewers, a combined 0 for 11. At home. Top of the second, one of the Toronto, Fernando Tatis, liner. Joey Lawrence is there, bobble, bobble. And eventually able to hold on. Tatis, by the way, went three for five with three RBIs. So Lawrence saw to it, no hit on that play. Bottom of the seventh, tied at five. Raul Mondesi on first, Carlos Del Gatto. Crush job off Graham Lloyd, get out of town. His 17th of the year. Only a second home run, though, in the last 19 games. And the Blue Jays improved to 18 and 13 all time against their Canadian rival. It might be the end of the rivalry, the contraction idea. Baseball, Andy Pettit working from the stretch, top of the second, no score, and called for a balk. And Andy's not pleased. First balk of the year by a Yankee pitcher. Later that inning, runners at the corners, and uh, Pettit picks off Jeremy Burnett's. Pettit gets out of the inning unscathed. Top three, still no score. Ray Ordonez from one shortstop to another. Derek Jeter. Nice dig by Nick Johnson. Great play by Jeter. Bottom three, still no score. John Vanderwall against Steve Traxel. Gone. Solo home run. Vanderwall's third. Yankees up 1-0. Two pitches later, Alfonso Soriano. He's got 19 home runs. Back-to-back -back jacks, Yanks up two zip, and then Robin Williams displays the fine art of hand <laughs> puppeteering. Top eight, Yanks up 6-0, petted against Vance Wilson. Shallow center, Derek Jeter over the shoulder grab. Pettit wins his first start since April 5th. Eight zip, the final one, this one, Traxel. Went a little over three innings, five earned, allowed four earned in his previous three starts. Soriano, 19 home runs, went two for four. He also has 20 doubles on the year. Pettit improved to 65 and 24 at Yankee Stadium. That's the second highest winning percentage ever for any pitcher with 100 or more starts there. Braves looking to sweep the Red Sox and win their 11th consecutive series and pick it up in the bottom of the eighth. No more Garcia Parra. Get out of town. Boston three solo shots in a two-inning span. And we were tied at three. Bottom nine, Shea Hillebrand against Mike Remlinger. And Andrew Jones is going back into the triangle. And we don't mean Raleigh Durham. Remlinger's relieved, Hillebrand's bumming, and we go to extras. Top 10, here's Keith Lockhart, the pinch hitter, with a runner on. You get Durbina, and the ball gets away from Doug Mirabelli. Bragg goes to second, pass ball on Mirabelli. Same at bat, Lockhart, base hit down the line and right. Bragg will score easily. Lockhart ends up in second with an RBI double. That made it 4-3 Braves. They go on to win 7-3 in 10. So the Red Sox say goodbye to interleague play. They went eight and ten this season. They're three and twelve all time against the Braves at Fenway. Darren Bragg 
He's batting 404 in 16 starts this season. He's only hitting 083 when he comes off the pine. Braves have won 10 of 11. They finished 21 and 5 this month. The best June record in franchise history. We'll put the month of June under the spotlight later in the show. First place at stake in St. Louis. Cards, Reds, Tino Martinez gone. Bottom one, the Cardinals already up 2 nothing. This off Luis Pineda. Number nine on the year for Tino. Between the fourth and fifth innings, home plate umpire Kerwin Danley collapsed on the field. He would be helped off, did not return. Never lost consciousness, overcome by the heat. Bottom five, cards up 7-5. One on two outs, Eli Marrero. Aaron Boone boots the ball right to Todd Walker. And I guess sitting next to a hockey announcer, that would be a kick save and a beauty. Top nine, Reds down two, bases loaded. One out, Reggie Taylor against Jason Isringhausen. The off-speed pitch, back through the box. Juan Encarnacion and Sean Casey score, and we're tied at eight. Two batters later, two on, two outs for Todd Walker. Isringhausen still in. Takes the pitch the opposite way. Two more runs come plate word. The Reds go up 10 to eight. Tack on a couple of more to win it by the final of... 12 to 8. The Reds had a 4 and 35 record when entering the ninth inning this season. Walker matches a career high with four knocks, also drove in four runs. Martinez, three for four. First home run in the last 15 games. The Cards have dropped, uh, lost the finale in nine of their last 10 seasons. Up sensation, Landon Donovan taking some BP before the Giants and A's went at it for real. Russ Ortiz walked the base loaded with two outs. Ramon Hernandez softly to third. Pedro Feliz, the barehanded pickup, and throws him out. Ortiz escapes. Hey, Jeff Kent's had an interesting week. Tuesday, you might recall, he had the mini altercation with Barry Bonds. Wednesday, he was switched to third in the order. They flip-flop in the order. And since then, Kent is 8 for 15 with two home runs and 12 RBIs. On Sunday in the third, base hit up the middle off Tim Hudson. Here's Sean Dunstan sliding in a third. Runners in the corners for Barry. The pitching coach, Rick Peterson, there's a good idea. Talk it over. Talking strategy with Hudson. He falls behind 3-1, and Barry gets his second intentional pass on the day. Reggie Sanders with the bases loaded. First pitch swinging to Mark Ellis, unassisted. So the Hudson gamble pays off. 2-0 A's in the fourth. Scott Hatterberg singles in. For the drawn in infield, Adam Pyatt and Hernandez scores 4-0 swing at A's. Damon Miner up the middle. Miguel Tejada, the diving catch with a runner at second to help preserve the shutout. Hudson appreciates the effort. It's a complete game five hitter. It's his first shutout in two years. A's finish interleague play 16 and 2. They finish June 21 and 7. Jeff Kent. Four consecutive games with multi-hits. Bonds, we told you, walks twice. That's 102 and 103 this season. So he's way ahead of his record-setting pace. He had only 79 walks at this time last year. Let's go to Seattle, the M's and the Rockies. Todd Zeal against Arthur Rhodes. Top seven is 3-2 M's. Nobody out. Two men aboard. Zeal down the first baseline. John Oleru chases it down, gets the carom off a fan's glove for the out. Judgment called by the umpire, and it's called a catch. Cass Sasaki trying to close it out against Todd Hollinsworth and the former National League Rookie of the Year. Doubles to right, bringing in Larry Walker, and we're tied at three. Two batters led it. Bobby Estalea. Sack fly, brings in Zeal. 4-3 Rockies. Bottom nine, still 4-3 Rockies. Jose Jimenez against Jeff Cirillo. Two on, two outs. The comebacker, and that is your ball game. Sasaki came into the game having allowed just one earned run the entire season. Only the fourth blown save of the season. Larry Walker, four for five, two doubles. Fifth game of at least three hits since June 15. L.A. 7 to nothing, but on Sunday, it was Benji Gill throttling Odalis Perez. Get out of town, a three-run shot. Gill's first of the year, and it's 5 nothing Halos. Dave Hansen against John Lackey. Lines to second. Ball bounces off Jose Nieves' head, then into his mitt for a catch. Quick head, quick hands. The Angels win 5-1 for Los Angeles. is their third loss in the last 12 games. Lackey goes six innings, one earned run in his second career start. Paul LaDuca hitting 318 for the Dodgers. Is that good enough to be an all-star? Stay tuned.
The artist formerly known as the Indian sent out Danny Baez to face Kurt Schilling and the Diamondbacks. He had some problems in the top of the first. Walks Quentin McCracken, Luis Gonzalez. Two batters later, Junior Spivey take your base. Next batter, Steve Finley. Baez walks him, walked in a run. one nothing Arizona. Bottom two, 3 nothing Arizona. Jim Tomey at the plate, leading off as we hit the Wayback Machine. On Tuesday, Jim Tomey is 20th. On Wednesday is 21st. Friday is 22nd. Saturday is 23rd. Tomey's first at bat against Kurt Schilling. Gone. Fifth consecutive game of the home run. He's got 24 on the year. That'd be good enough to make the All-Star team. Indians down 3-1. Schilling facing Einar Diaz. Bottom eight, 5-1 Arizona. Little looper, Quint McCracken. Great effort. Full extension. Kurt Schilling, the proud new father. Wife Shonda gave birth to a baby boy earlier in the week. Garrett. Schilling avoids a four-game winless streak, improved to 11-0, 2.67 ERA in his last 14 road starts. That dates back to last season. D-backs finish interleague play at 11-7. First time in the city, Mike Sweeney, dare I say, in fuego. At least coming into this game, having homered in five consecutive contests, striking out against the rookie Jake Peavy. Rodney Myers gets him in the sixth. Bottom seven, 11-1 Kansas City. That's infielder D'Angelo Jimenez loosening up in the bullpen. Jimenez on to face Michael Tucker, and he gets him to fly out in the bottom of the seventh when it was 13-1 Kansas City. Eugene Kingsale with the catch. Bottom eight, Jimenez against Mike Caruso. Caruso just called up on Saturday. Pops out to the first baseman, now appearing in your picture. Next batter, A.J. Hinch. Jimenez, the first position player since August of 1999 to pitch for the Padres. Pitch pretty well. Next batter is Luis Alisea. Jimenez, four up, four down. Royals win it 13 to one. Battle of Florida, Marlins visiting the Devil Rays. George Sosa pitching with men on second and third. Florida already had a one nothing lead in the top of the second. Andy Fox runs well for a big man. And he beats the Jason Smith throw. Steve Cox double clutch and throw home. Eric Owens slides home safely. Great Florida hustle there. Tied at five, bottom 12. Man on second for Brent Abernathy. Base hit to left off Vladimir Nunez. Tim Raines throw hits Cox in the shoulder. He scores. Tampa Bay does win in 12. Let's go to Baltimore, the O's and the Phillies. And a big day for the ball girl. Gary Matthews Jr., bottom one. She can't make the play. E. Ball Girl. Later in the game, the Ball Girl gets engaged. That's a hit. She would stay in the game, though. She's a Ball Girl. <laughs> Pirates and Tigers. Bottom of the second. Brandon Inge on first. Chris Benson facing Wendell McGee with two down. Looper in a shallow right center. Pokey Reese has trouble with it. Finally, Chad Hermanson gets it to Jack Wilson. The throw home to nail him at the plate. Inge, the third base coach, Juan Samuel, discuss what happened. Green light, red light, one, two, three. Bottom of the sixth, two nothing, runners in the corners. And Benson tries to fake the third and throw the first pick off, and it works. Damien Easley caught off first, Pokey Reese then throws home the nail, George.